Iowa in a 2-3 zone right now. Try, they're they're going to switch up defenses. They're mostly a man-to-man -man team, though. Nice feet underneath the Holyfield. Pems a little late on the help defense. Still able to hang on to it, running into Red Raiders all over. There's the turnover. Clark up ahead. Got a score here. Shannon fouled and a chance for a three-point play. Score indeed. Chris Clark refuses to give up, man. This guy is a bulldog, and he's one of those rare points. Torres underneath Carlissimo. This is Kyle Carlissimo, the son of PJ, turns this one over. And the Illini on the run. And Shannon says hello to the Illini fans. Shannon does a great job of reading the play defensively. You, you get put in a little bit of a scramble mode here, long closeout. You help back down. I had on the swivel. It's just absolutely awesome to be one of those programs that is invited to do so. That's awesome. It's really an awesome opportunity for those kids as Shannon knocks down another. Everything in this conference, and this is a guy who asks for nothing from you. He just goes and takes it. Hamlin did that ever so slightly and gave up an open three and now a second chance opportunity. Kenyon Hodges yeah, picked up the foul, but then on the inbound, it's taken away. And there's a big time block from Terrence Shannon Jr. Smokes, what a sequence. Um, Terrence Shannon, man, again, the secondary defender stuff, when you have versatility like that, put the offensive player in. In game one, we're seeing that the answer is yes. At least, by the way, he's played in this first half. Shannon cross court. Meyer for three. That's good. Man, that's good basketball. 13 yeah. different players had a start. Yeah, I saw that stat in the, in the game notes. It's like 16 different starting lineups. I mean, how do you know what you're working with night in, night out? The answer is you don't. Yeah. That one's good for Shannon. Shannon for three. Off target. And Rogers the rebound. Now Shannon going to the bucket. He can get three the old fashioned way. Sometimes when I watch tape, there are certain guys I just watch a lot of. You watch how they you look at Indiana women's, Maryland, Michigan. It's been loaded. Northwestern's been really good. Come on, this. And there's been several teams that have been that Michigan team is really good. And a shaky start on offense both ways. Still a shutout. Two minutes in. Here's Terrence Shannon. A threat in the open court. And down it goes. It's going to be taking care of the basketball. Here you got Shannon going in. Oh, the one-footed 18-footer. That's not what he wants. I don't think so. I don't. I didn't see him practicing that today. There's Shannon. Got that and a foul. Shannon just, you know, driving in, taking the contact and finishing. Uh, it's, you know, fast breaks. You can stop. If it's just they're always looking for the point guard. But when your big guy brings the ball down the court, it's tough to match up. And the line are going so deep into their bench. These are valuable minutes for these guys coming off. Oh, shit. Ty Rogers with the hammer. Rush that shot. And the student section claims one there. Shannon going end to end. Oh, and the finish for Terrence Shannon. And he'll go the line for one more. He gets a full steam downhill. Weaving through the defense. The depth of the squad is so impressive. Oh, danger. Strong work in the post. Ball caroms out to Melendez. He'll push it up the floor to Shannon. Shannon on the move all the way to the rim. New high. 26. Media timeout. Well, the Illini didn't have a foreign trip this summer, but you would know it with that beautiful Euro right there. Shannon looking for three. Off the heel. Got his own rebound. Shannon inside. Count the bucket. Well, the long rebound comes out and the defense is scrambling, so Shannon gets an angle. Shannon, the trailer on the play. Going to work, underhand flip, Epps three. Up. Nice the defensive adjustment there at first, but whoop, cross court, <laughs> put a little English on it. That's going to be key for them. They need to get Sky Clark going on the offensive end. R.J. Melendez and a steal now and up and the dunk. From hitting a victory number 100 and look at Terrence Shannon Jr. Athleticism and the finish. A three from straight away, but back comes Lindy Wood stolen away by Sky Clark to Terrence Shannon. Shannon underneath the layup, it's up and in. Oh my goodness, that was sweet by Sincere Harris. Long three coming, compliments of Cole. No good. Rebound comes down to Terrence Shannon Jr. Shannon in the lane, and he stuffs it with the left hand. We see this emphatic slam. If you just try to read. Oh, 
my goodness, Guy Clark reaching up to the heavens. And an and one by Shannon Jr. What careless Caldwell gave up the ball. Beautiful pass by Coleman Hawk. Between 13 and 19, and I think he's got a similar club. Here's Terrence Shannon. And Shannon's first points of the game, and he can get hot in a hurry. Went eight for nine from out there against UCLA. Leading by three. Terrence Shannon, a career 30% shooter coming into the year. 74 and 72 record in conference play. Good pass underneath, and the bucket, Hawkins, and with Shannon with the dish, the lead is 23. Illinois has made seven of its last eight. They're starting to attack. And watch Shannon. He is unstoppable getting to the left hand. I am not going to bring in transfers over you. I'm going to bring in transfers to compliment you. He made that promise to them. But right now, Illinois for the first time punching back a 7-0 run for the Illini. And here, Hawkins affecting the defensive end again. Outlet up to Hawkins, little Euro step. Reverse up and down, and Illinois right back within a possession. Illinois, 36% from three coming into tonight. Four of 12 so far this evening from deep. Shannon taking it to the rack with authority through two turps. He's got eight second half points, and Terrence Shannon equally as good with eight himself. Epps with a burst. Extra pass finds Shannon. And Shannon scores again. The ball movement set up the downhill drive for Terrence Shannon Jr. It's a step over and take the charge. Didn't get there quite in time, and Terrence Shannon going to the line for an N1. Want to play aggressively, but you have to be under control. Terrence Shannon. First two for Illinois' leading scorer. A hefe. The freshman trying to get to the rim, and Shannon had some other ideas. And now Clark loses it. It will be Illinois ball. Is in the 340s of turning teams over. They're not a team that pressures. They'll play that pack line. Good place to go to get a hoop there. Terrence Shannon is his second basket of the game. For getting to the rim. Gets the rebound there off the deflection. Back comes Terrence Shannon. Shannon in transition. Easy deuce. Understands how to change his pace. Terrific score. Got it done in high school and college as well. And Terrence Shannon. Shannon goes cross court to Meyer. He books a triple. Fighting line eye. Getting it done on both ends. And, and watch the ball, reverse sides. Great skip pass from Terrence Shannon. Matt Meyer, knocked down. Alabama A&M started this half on a 16-2 run to work their way back into the game. Terrence Shannon trying to give his Illini team some breathing room here. So Sincere Harris already making his imprint felt. He really does that on this end. You see how tight up he is guarding here. And he forced the turnover. Back comes Terrence Shannon in the open floor. It start tonight, and those type of decisions right there will get him some more playing time. And Terrence Shannon, good help defense that time. Led to another turnover. Harris is running. A little catch and hoop there. Speaking of tough schedules, this Illini group, I mean, they've played Texas, UCLA, Virginia, Maryland, among others. And, as Karen Shannon takes away another steal, players like Jaden Epps, they matched up against some of the best guards in the country as there's a transition easy bucket there. Shannon working here at the controls for the Illini. This one's going up. Oh, what a pass. I thought they were shooting this one. Nice right around the feed finds Dane Danger. Nice pass from Shannon. Dane Danger doing work in the paint. Next assist will be the 350th of Boo Booey's career. Shannon drives. Nobody stopped him. I love that right there from Terrence Shannon. Hanging on rims. On the other end, Terrence Shannon getting it right. Backdoor pass, Melendez. Yes, great feed from Terrence Shannon. Going to end well. He struggled, but... It's a good way to get him going, using his ability. Watch the shot clock here. Shannon to danger. Beautiful. 
lot of really interesting matchups across the board here in this game. A lot different for Wisconsin's coaches to prepare for without Kofi Coburn as well. They saw a lot of him the last few years. Like two glaciers going at each other. Here's Hawkins into Crowell. He's cut off. Back from Harris. Whips it to Shannon. Look out below! This has just looked like a different mindset for Terrence Shannon Jr. No shades needed here inside the lovely State Farm Center. Shannon bangs a three, and Terrence Shannon Jr. Well, there's enough talent on this team, and it's showing through right now, which is good for second in the Big Ten and 19th nationally. Much different style than the last few years of Kofi Coburn. Okay. Throwing into the post ball. Here's his deal. Shannon rocks the rim. He's just so explosive in the open floor. I think he's trying to just get healthy. He's been battling a little bit of a shoulder ailment so far. Shannon driving inside. Oh, he's so good on the attack. Gets the bucket and he'll go to the line for one more. He wants to get going downhill with his strong or left hand. And it's the scouting report. You've got to try to take it away because he shows you exactly what happens when you don't honor the scouting report. A chance for an and one for the visitor. And to shoot on this end for Illinois. Just three for 11 from the floor. Shannon trying to change that with the drive. No question. Taron Shannon, best player on the floor. 17.7 rebounds. His Illini lead to Brown. Shannon, five early points, driving in and scoops it home. Air under it. Nice conversion. Second time. Both of his field goals have used the backboard, and you cannot allow again. Terrence Shannon to get to that left hand, even though he finished on the right side. I have to shoot. Shannon launching from deep, and he hits. As we outline the ills from three, Shannon makes it look easy. Getting it done for Illinois. Watch this little sequence here. Little dribble handoff. Not really a screen, but Hawkins got just enough. It was a little bit of tentative defense by Walker because he got two quick fouls. He didn't want to get his third and Danger able to take advantage. Oh, and Shannon taking advantage. Three on one. The left to Hawkins and the alley-oop. Melendez the drop off to Rodgers. Ten to shoot. Shannon goes past Bandamel like he was standing still. Yeah, this is going to force Nebraska to burn a timeout. It's been those sorts of plays, and especially for Illinois, their ability to attack the offensive glass, which has really been a difference. And a telegraph pass. It's in a Shannon slam. Rodgers has provided a spark. Here's Melendez again. Epps on the baseline. One to shoot. Epps is going to have to launch. He does, and he hits the three. Here he is, that's outside of his range. Almost traveled, he threw it away. Terrence Shannon, coast to coast. Live with that shot if you're Tom Izzo. And that's just Matty Sissoko getting into trouble unnecessarily. Limping, trying to get back. What an attack, but good defense by Hawkins. And then Epps <laughs> never ran back, so he lays it in. Or sharing it a little bit. And Michigan State, though. No defense for this. Shannon again finds the angle. Now a bounce pass to Rodgers, and he scores. Shannon's going with his offhand, full speed, and then a nice pocket bounce pass to Rodgers. Got to know him a little bit better since he's become head coach at Indiana. And, boy, is he a wealth of history. Here's Shannon getting to the rack. He's so good finding his way to the rim. Look at Terrence Shannon. Galloway's looking for help. And Trace Jackson Davis, the way you're guarding him, he'll take advantage. He's about 220 points away from his coach on the all-time scoring list at Indiana. And another steal, another rim run. Galloway had it blocked. What do you want this possession if you're in a line I think? Ball movement. How about that? That good enough for you? That's pretty good. Dribble penetration. That was more like the defense, maybe, that Brad Underwood wanted by Danger. And a three for Shannon has the crowd out of its seats. And he's not only scoring the rock for them, he's trying to slow down Huchifino. He did there. Hit ahead to Melendez. Ooh. And he stumps it down. 10 second violation, 10 second violation. Yep. Now 
that three is a splash down for Shannon. You see, Terrence Shannon is just going to take matters into his own hand. So Melinda is not used to being in that situation. Harris wouldn't take the shot. Crowd wanted him to. Shannon a foot fake. And a three. Well, the Illini trying to mount a comeback behind Terrence Shannon Jr. Lost it. And here comes Terrence Shannon. Shannon to the rack and good. He is just lethal in transition. And off that missed layup. Last seven from three over the last three games. Inside lead. Even though the initial defender had left that play, Hawkins still got a good contest. It's better offense. Oh, good dive, Epps. Dive into the bucket. Oh, stolen. Look out. Shannon. And Illinois making things happen in the open floor. Shannon splits. Kick out. Triple. Good. Again to that left. Left it short, though. Shannon in one. This is the luxury you have when your five man can start to break. Nobody stops the basketball. I thought that was a correct call. Epps cuts to the rim for two. Now, that's the second time he's done that in two. Now, Hoiberg. Penetrates, little floater off glass that doesn't go, and Hawkins with the rebound. Shannon for three. Got it. Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app, so we'll have the football guys in the house. Rodgers on the reverse, lays it in. Oh, I really like Ty Rodgers' game. Oh, Lana has a plethora of athletes on the wing position, Rodgers being one of them. This is a a situation where in this generation day you can uh oh good steal shannon is on the break plays it in so can't get it to go rebound to danger here's harris now shannon with a head of steam shannon goes so fast and he's so strong Wilcher tries to dump it off to tominaga stolen away here's harris with shannon and harris the jam Oh, that's a beautiful feed back from Terrence Shannon Jr. to Harris. Well, look at Sincere Harris. All over Tominaga. Shot clock at five. Dawson stripped away. Here comes Shannon. Three on two. Harris lays it in. And then funnel him to the help defense. Shannon comes up with the steal, and the Illini are off to the races. Excellent lead pass. Harris with the finish. A little loose with the ball, but able to corral it. Shannon, Hawkins, and there is two more without leaving his feet. One trend will be established here quickly. Meyer in the corner, buries a three, and since he was for his last 22 coming in from three the last two games, and here's his first three today. So I understand Murray paying attention to Rodgers, trying to keep him off the offensive glass. This is Shannon, crossover into a three. Puppy on the line there. And then Shannon, you was doing the right thing. Giving space. McCaffrey draped on Shannon, trying to drive him into the lane. It's a foul and two for Shannon. Oh man, Clear out. he goes long one. Look at the space that that call created. Connell going around the screen. There's Shannon with a rejection. Clock didn't stop. Got to go. It's a shot clock violation. What a block from Terrence Shannon. He is locked and loaded here today. Great timing. If he's just within the painted area, he's dunking. Yes. Shannon. Wow. Tough shot. Thought he should have had in one. Yeah, he probably should have. For Illinois, how about this tough finish from Terrence Shannon? I mean, had to kind of a Euro step, fight through contact. McConnell had it packed right into his face by Shannon. 14 for McConnell, 6 for Terrence Shannon. And another turnover by Illinois. Three on two. Fancy footwork. How about the swat by Shannon? This game. 
Meyer misses a three. Long rebound to Shannon. Strong drive, and Shannon draws the contact from Jai and finishes. Junior, chance for a three-point play. Well, Shannon, I mean, this guy has Allen Iverson speed. Easier said than done. Shannon starts on Pickett. Shannon takes away a telegraph pass from Lundy. And Shannon scores with a foul against Lundy. Nobody in the league better in the open court than this guy. I mean, he lives at the free throw line, and that's what you have to do. That's the best way to stop Penn State. Shannon's leadership, his work ethic have come in very handy since those losses. And Shannon is trying to get That's Illinois back in this game. A good attack by Shannon. You keep your eye on Meyer. Yes. Dumps it out to Shannon for three. And Shannon rolls it home. Shannon showing you why he's been one of the better scorers in this league, finding the range. What a fun matchup this is on Adige and Terrence Shannon. Shannon showing some spark here, and right there, immediately getting downhill and finding his way to the rim. And the burst that he has, whether it's in transition or in the open floor, it's a little contact there. Four and a half to go. It's Shannon, deep three, splashing home, he's got 19. That was deep right there from Terrence Shannon. Shannon knocking down the three, Showing off the range, but it's also on the defensive end as well. Adige getting ripped. Now Adige, pulled free. Shannon with a defensive play. Four-point game. Shannon, hero step. Two-point game. Shannon, a little 5-0 run all by himself, getting out in transition and doing what he does best. Shannon, 19 second-half points. Going to work again. For two. Even though he's coming off the ball screen going right by Terrence Shannon. And he's doing it against one of the best defensive players in the country, Berman on Deed. So it, it was probably a good move on their, all right. on their part. Well, Gene, thank you. We appreciate it. Gene will be around all day long and through March Madness. And off this timeout, that's Thornton switching hands. The rule ball don't lie because it looked like Illinois had a had an advantage. But Rogers has really handled the rebounding. Here comes Shannon. This is where he he's back. Going it. back to the free throw line. Yeah. It's the same thing. And man, when he gets out, he's so strong. One and one. McDaniel missed it. Dickinson tips it. Williams. Oh, that is an emphatic end to the half. Terrence Shannon with a volleyball spike. But he had surgery to repair a bone fracture in the left foot. Only back the last few weeks. Shannon off a of curl. Hawkins! Look out! Meyer back on the floor for Illinois, which has looked lost offensively for a while now. Shannon draws the contact and scores it. Illinois walks right inside. A party comes off of there. Bad angle by Tyrus Reed, but I mean, a really good drive. I'd like to see this little handoff once again. Get him on the right side of the floor, get him to his left hand. Shannon drops it off beautifully. Rogers scores it! Well, now he gets the switch with Reed. Shannon on senior night. Top step inside the net! Uh, one of the things you're seeing, Jason, is sometimes it's hard to rebound when you're post double teaming because you're scrambling around, you're not matched up. There's usually one guy that's free. And there's Terrence Shannon for three. Into Edie. Here comes the cavalry. Edie, no. First, no. Edie's on the ground. Five on four. Shannon, but one scores. And one. Meyer got an opening. And missed it off the front iron. Hawkins lost it. It's on the deck. It's behind the back. Martin for Smith. Right away. Blocked by Shannon. Just watch Terrence Shannon. Look at this sprint. Gets by Brandon Newman. That's as good of a block as you'll see. Shannon wanted a three. And got it! Wow! Meyer. Short. Shannon comes up with it. Lays it in. And the foul as well. Nice job by Shannon just to crash in here. Lundy not really actively blocking out. And there's the contact. There's the layup. Looked like he had space to shoot the three instead. Oh, Stripped by Lundy. But they get it back. 
Hawkins lays it in. 